Hello everyone. Happy Friday. I hope you had an amazing day, a fantastic week, and that you're crushing September. It's going to be a great stream tonight. So if you're watching live, thank you so much for being here. If you could do me a big favor, please hit that like button. It really does help. Let's spread some Disney magic on this Friday night. And if you're watching on the replay, you can still hit the like button. I know a lot of people like to get out on their Friday nights, but we're heading out as well here in Orlando to Epcot via the boardwalk. You're looking at it. We're here in Orlando, Florida. It is a hot, hot day. Over 90 degrees still at this moment. And we're going to head in the International Gateway of Epcot. That's the uh, where you go in by the World Showcase. A couple awesome things happening tonight. One, Lauren is here with us. And everybody loves Lauren. There she is on the phone. She'll join us in a little bit. She just got her a call from her best friend who lives far away. And uh, they've been trying to connect. So I so said, take the call. We got a nice long stream. And we're also going to go see Piano Rob tonight. Piano Rob, our buddy. I've known Rob, uh, well, since before I moved down here. One, I was a fan first. Went, and he went to go see him at Jelly Rolls whenever I came down on vacation. And then uh, we became friends once I moved down. Then during the pandemic, he came out and party with Pete and was our guest uh, a few times. Our our, I want to say our most consistent guest, at least three or four appearances on Party with Pete. And uh, he still works all around Disney. He's not at Jelly Rolls anymore, but he still does the dueling pianos over at the Boathouse at Disney Springs. If you go there, some select Friday and Saturday nights and also brunches on the weekends. Uh, he plays all over Orlando. I love that he's doing his own thing. And uh, on top of that, he also from time to time pops in and plays at the Rose and Crown in the UK Pavilion here at Epcot. So I found out he was there this week, told him, hey, I'm coming, buddy. I missed the first one, but we're coming to the next one. So Lauren and I made a reservation for Rose and Crown for, uh, we're gonna sit right in the dining room with him and get an awesome performance a little bit later on, but that's a little bit later on. We got here early for a few reasons. One, once Lauren sits down too long, can't get her out of the house. <laughs> Two, we want to go on some rides, do some attractions, see if there's any food booths Lauren hasn't done yet. Or if there's anything you want us to do, let us know. If we can make it happen, we'll try to make it happen. And yeah, it's a beautiful afternoon here at the boardwalk. The cake bake shop coming along nicely. quiet out here beautiful skies again it is a hot one today but at least it's cooling off from a few weeks ago where it was over 100 every day it's funny i took a picture yesterday when i got in the car but then my phone died of uh when we were done with the stream yesterday but if you missed yesterday's stream it was great uh, we were at Animal Kingdom for over four hours. We did a bunch of stuff we normally don't do. So we did some shows. We did Festival of the Lion King and the Bird Show, Feather Friends in Flight. We went to Rafiki's Planet Watch. We did the safari, but we, we always do the safari, but you have to do it because it's different every time. What else did we do? We did a bunch of fun stuff. We showed you some hacks. We did some hidden Mickeys. We went to the Rainforest Cafe. Showed you around there. It was a fun stream yesterday. If you missed it, go check it out. Yesterday's stream after this one. And if you missed a stream, well, then you got to subscribe. And if you're subscribed, you got to get that bell on and hit all notifications so you don't miss them. They're super fun live, and I love hang having you here with me hanging out. Got to take a little sip of my water. We'll be catching up with the chat in just a second as well. We'll get us into the park first. Happy birthday. <laughs> oh, we're also, I forgot, we're gonna go check on 
check in on the figment line. It's less than, we'll say 22 minutes. 22 minutes is the line. If it's less than that, we'll hop in line. We'll take a picture at Figment Live. If it's more than that, we'll show you other people taking a picture with Figment. <laughs> Maybe we'll even do that attraction. I don't even know the last time we did it. It's so funny because uh, when we were here on vacation one time, me and Lauren used to fly down on weekends before we moved here four years ago. And she was always like, how come you don't take me on Figment? I'm like, the original was better. It's just, I don't like this version. And there's so many other things we have to do. We just don't have time. You got to pick and choose. We're only here for two days. We used to do like two and a half day trips. Come out on a Friday night, leave Sunday afternoon. Or come in Saturday morning, leave Sunday night. And uh, <laughs> so finally we do it one day. And she's like, I get it. It's not the best. <laughs> it's not the best. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, the original version was the best. Maybe we'll do it. Who knows? We're just having some fun tonight. There she is. Look at this beautiful woman. It's warm out. It is warm out. Um, can we just hang in the shade over here for a second? Can you hold this for a second? Yeah. Thanks. Yes. Hi, everyone. We're just taking a, a little breather. It's, I'll tell everybody it's a bit how, hot. Uh, about the story of why, like, I always had you skip Figment, and then when you finally went oh, on, you're yeah. like, I see why we skipped it all those times. Yep, yep, absolutely. Because the original version was the best. Yeah, that's what I heard. But I said, so, maybe we'll do it today if we're really just want to do something crazy. Yeah, if we want to mix it up. Why not? Mix it up. Speaking of mixing it up. Oh, Lauren, you, what a lead in. Did you do that on purpose? Or that was an Hi. accident? I don't think I told you this yet. I put it in the calendar. But starting Monday oh. is our debut of our new show, Mix It Up Mondays. Oh, wow. Look that's that. right. Oh, mix yeah. It Up Mondays. Mark your calendars every single Monday at 12 o'clock noon eastern time we will be going live from casa de carne maybe sometimes we'll go live from other places too but we're gonna mix it up on mondays but people always say pete can you please give us a consistent day and time and with all my 14 schedules that i try to put together 14. <laughs> that's right could be 15 in the next six minutes but uh yeah just my schedules are always crazy so i don't have any real consistency from week to week but I looked at the schedule and the next at least, up until Thanksgiving at least, but maybe even the new year, I have Monday middays free. Midday Monday. Midday Monday. <laughs> Mix it up Mondays. Oh, look at all that alliteration. I love it. Wow. Well, I was going to do mimosa Mondays, but I'm like, I don't want to have that much champagne. I'd rather mix it up. So we, if you want, <laughs> we can still mix it up. Well, it's Mix It Up Mondays because you never know what we're going to do. We're going to discuss Disney News. We're going to discuss... Pop culture, things around the house, scheduling, what do you want to see? We'll just be doing all the kinds of things. Might mix up a cocktail. <laughs> Might even cook a little food. I knew you were going to say that. Might just do a live stream from the pool. Who knows? But it's Mix It Up Mondays, every Monday, 12 o'clock. Put it in your calendar. Make sure you got that bell on, all notifications. Please subscribe. Oh, and if you're just joining us, you got to hit that like button. I got to aim you at the ground. Hold on one sec. Good. Just seltzer. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, Lauren. No, you're bold. Come on. Oh, this is never going to work. Get there in time. Am I good? Did it work? Yep. Hey, thank you. All right, let's do it. Here we are, Epcot. This is the International Gateway, for those who don't know. This is if you take a Skyliner in from one of the other resorts, whether you're staying at Art of Animation, Pop Century, Caribbean Beach, the Riviera. Your Skyliner lands right outside the entrance of the International Gateway. And if you're staying at Beach and Yacht, Boardwalk, Swan and Dolphin, you can just walk over to this entrance and come on in. 
If you're coming in the main entrance or taking an Uber, they just completed the new Uber loop up front. Yeah. Yep, they cleared the land, they got it done. So now uh, if you're going to take an Uber, don't walk to that old spot you used to walk to. You want to follow the bus, uh, like if you're heading to Disney buses. It's a bit of a longer walk. Uh, so we're taking an Uber or Lyft, which I still think is the fastest way to get around Disney. We used to factor that into our budget. Uh, we used to factor the Ubers into our budget. We used to come down on the weekends just because we would take a bus home if it was the end of the day and we didn't care about time. But getting to the parks early in the morning or if we had to get to a reservation at a certain resort, Uber and Lyft were just so much faster. And most of the time if you're traveling around Disney, it's, you know, 10 to 20 bucks. Make sure you're tipping those Uber drivers. Anyway, here we are. We're in the UK pavilion. Cool. We'll do that later when we're wasting time. I'm gonna go to the I just realized I had this here and I wanted to check it before if I forgot. Just walking around with a pocket full of garbage. Um, can you just show everyone maybe the Ireland menu? I want to just check in and tell them we want the dining room for Rob a little bit later. Okay. So let's go to the Ireland booth. Check it out. So I thought it would cool down a little bit by the time we got here, but it was still about 92 degrees when I checked the weather before. So it's still very, very hot at almost 5 p.m. Okay. So we can take a look here at the Ireland booth, the International Food and Wine Festival. We have Fisherman's Seafood Pie for $7, roasted Irish sausage for $5.75, warm chocolate pudding cake with Irish cream liqueur custard. Interesting. $4.75. We got your water, alcoholic beverages. Mead honey wine, interesting. I don't think I ever tried a, a mead here at Epcot, but that's for $6.50. The Guinness Bailey's coffee shake for $12.50, and then a Kilkenny Irish cream ale, six Any ounce counties. for $5.50, 12 ounce for $9.50. I don't think I've ever eaten anything at this booth, but I have to say, the coffee shake sounds pretty good. Just saying. Here's a little sneak peek at those food items. And here are some pictures of them. Okay. We got the fisherman's seafood pie. I read all the things with the prices. I just oh, didn't. Are you just showing them again? I'm showing the pictures. Oh, okay. Very yes, nice. I read it on the thing and then I saw it. The best Epcot restrooms are still open. The World Showplace bathrooms are the best, or the restrooms, or whatever you call them in your part of the world. Best of the rest, <laughs> best of the rest rooms. Coming out soon. We're doing that this weekend, Lauren. That's it. We gotta finish it. Come on. Can we finish it this weekend? I, if it's a million degrees, I think we have bigger problems. The lights aren't up yet, but when it gets dark, this rock, beautiful feature, blends into Canada perfectly, but also turns into the lighting for the nighttime spectacular and the walkways. So if you're ever here, look at the top of these two rocks, that one and that one here in Canada, and they'll pop up. Canada still undergoing a little bit of love and refurbishment. You can see they closed off the main walkway. Scaffolding still up, but they're painting in those bricks now. So it was a nice, people were like, oh, they're, sure, they're painting it white, but no, that was just primer. They're getting there. It looks like it's getting closer. It looks great. I didn't even know it was necessary. There are other places I would have recommended first. 
Let's look at some Canadian gear. Get that hair up. I can't imagine, but I like that rug. Those are cute backpacks. You know what also was cute? These are two books that I could have written because one, when I hug people, it's a big bear hug. And two, I like to make the moose out of life. I know, I, I was nervous that when you ducked into a shop. That should be our next like challenge stream is you have to wear that Canadian onesie for a full lap around the world. Oh, God, no. I'll just pass That's out. It's not, silly. I would need a EMT. We need a team. <laughs> we need a medic behind us. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this cute little vest. That is cute. I just can't fathom wearing any of this right I know. now. Well, no, what about this one? The light tank, Canada, yeah. the great outdoors. So little Mickey fishing. Up. Great coloring. It's like our building that they're painting. Yeah. Look at this magnet. They have some cute here. I always say they that have it. Cool. Right here is cool. No, we'll do another air conditioning activity next. Check out these pressed pennies. <laughs> Look, it's Mickey in front of the pavilion and Minnie's skiing. That's cute. Pluto on the sled. Donald skiing. We should do Lord, there's too many. I'm telling you, I just got into showing people the pennies, and even that is a new challenge. <laughs> Pins and pennies. There's so many. How's it going? Thanks for being here, Daniela. It's not cool on this side. It is cool. <laughs> Maybe we'll go do... You have, I don't think you've ever seen it, or it's been a long time since you've seen it. I don't think you've ever saw the new Far and Wide. Yeah. Um, yes, I have. With, with Eugene? Um, no, Eugene Levy from Schitt's Creek. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. When it was well, let's go see, because uh, when I just went and checked in, I didn't mean to check in. I just said, hey, when we come back in an hour, is there any way we could be in the dining room for Rob? And she was like, yeah, uh, let me just put the note in. So she took my name and number, and she's like, all right, just stay close, because we'll probably let you in the next few minutes. I'm like, what? And I was like, well, do we have at least, like, 15? She's like, yeah, you're going to have 15. Oh, okay. So instead of walking all the way up to the front like we were planning and coming back, look at that Selena shirt. I like it. It reminds me of my Selena shirt. No, that Selena shirt. Not gasolina. Well, honestly, you could have said that too. I could have. You're right. You're right. It reminds me of Brandy. <laughs> That's why I'm Shout saying. out to Brandy. <laughs> Let's look at the Victoria Gardens. What a beautiful... Look at this butterfly. Oh, my God. It's gorgeous. That is a gorgeous butterfly. Yeah. Look at that. That's beautiful. Now it's just showing off. Peter, I would like to go to Canada. I've been to Canada. I know you have. I hung out with some Canadians yesterday. We were talking, they were from Montreal. Uh, they, um, that was some of my ski trip adventures. And I was like, I used to go to Montreal every year for a solid four or five years in a row. Very nice. Very nice. Look at this nice picture. It's cute. That was a nice picture. No, no, I just kind of sneaked through quick. Les Soliers doesn't have the same... Je ne sais quoi with the <laughs> construction walls. Do you remember when, well, you don't, Lauren, but people out there will remember when Le Cellier was one dining credit? It was like the biggest steal of steals. Why would it be what? It, it just, because the pricing, I guess, fell like right on the edge. People, no, they figured it out quick. It didn't last long because they made it two pretty quickly. But uh, there was a while. I mean, I went there at least two or three times with that one dining credit up. Sorry. Water uh, I love the Disney water. So they redid these mountains first. Uh, and now they're doing this walkway up here. You can see the back of the construction. Five minutes till showtime, perfect. Let's catch up with the chat. And then from here, we'll go to the uh, Rose and Crown and see Rob. No. I also love this. Oh, 
air conditioning feels amazing. What? They just fixed the air conditioning in my classroom. Wow, only a month into school? That's great news. I was freezing today, but it was better than sweating, so. Freezing is better than sweating. But then again, we moved to Florida. We get, we opted for sweating over freezing. But, it was so bad, though. I'm so glad they fixed it. But again, you can always put on a sweater instead of no, I agree. teaching in the nude. Well, that which really is frowned happened. upon in most of Florida schools. <laughs> most. <laughs> Not all, just most. All right, everybody, let's catch up some shot. Hey, you got me and Lauren. Hey, Glenn. This beautiful face. Stop it. Ah, jeez. <laughs> it's not as red. No, you can tell the difference. Like, even my arm got some color today. Look at these guns. Stop it. Whoa, we had to move to Florida because she started working out too much. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. All right, let's say hi to some chat and catch up while we're waiting for her. We're going to go see Canada far and wide. I was going to say we're going to go see far and wide. Look at this glisten just from walking. There's sweat dripping down my back. It's really not I nice. I have a glisten. Ooh. Or just a fat neck. All right. No. Uh, follow the Bradley's Fun. What's going on? Tomorrowland Traveler. By the way, Tomorrowland Traveler hey. might be joining us later on. Uh, latest report just coming in uh, <laughs> is that he is on the road leaving work on his way to Epcot. I'm getting confirmed reports uh, out of Tampa that there is a Tomorrowland Traveler on the way to Epcot. Uh, in, in route. In route. Steven Noon MVP hey, in the house. We love Steven Noon, by the way. Giving us all the updates to the Discord. You got to check out the Discord. Uh, he just told us, he tells us when everything's dropping. So, like, he was he was the first to tell us about Moana, cast member previews before it was dropped anywhere else. He told us today about something else. I totally forgot what it was. I had gotten the scoop just, like, seconds before, but, like, I was like, man, he is on his A game. Is he a travel agent or something? He is, and we have amazing travel agents on our Discord, so go check it out. Always use a Disney travel agent. Um, we support all of them. Yes. Uh, and if you can't find one in our Discord, Steven's amazing. But also, you can go to thesmallerlandtraveler.com. He is a travel agent as well, and he is one of the nicest guys in the world. He'll help you out. Truth. Travel agents will always cost you the same exact thing, if not cheaper, than you're already paying. And uh, you have a buddy. Backup. Yeah, you have yeah. A, exactly. You have a, an ally, a friend, a travel agent, a expert. Somebody who can wait in line for you on the phone. Yeah, to, yeah. Like, that's another big thing. That's yeah. I've had a travel agent since I started coming Sorry. to Disney in my 20s. Yes, I was a late bloomer. Andrew C., what's going on, my man? Izzo in the house. Another great YouTube channel. Go follow Izzo's place. Brianna, what's up? Andrea, what's going on? Jamie Phillip Hone. How are you guys doing this fine Friday? I'm doing great. I'm just happy to have Lauren here. We're going to have Daniel here. We're going to go see Piano Rob. It's very exciting times. Brianna's 14th birthday is tomorrow. Happy birthday, Brianna. It's Marissa's birthday tomorrow, too. Oh, my birthday. gosh. So many birthdays in September. Moogle, what's up? I'm not sure if you heard me yesterday, Moogle, but I wish I could have met up with you at SeaWorld. I'm so sorry. I didn't see your message until I left SeaWorld. I wish I was sorry. It was, yeah. We were with the two kids and two adults who have never been there. Tour guide. <laughs> things happening. Busy day. Meltdowns. Uh, my niece wanted to do a roller coaster, so we had her first coaster be Mako because it didn't go upside down. But it is the fastest and tallest uh, roller coaster in Orlando. And her parents really wanted her to do it. I was like, are you sure? And they're like, let's show her the video. I'm like, I would not show her that video. So she had a meltdown before getting on the ride, but they were like, you can do it. And then she did it and she loved it. Yeah. Um, Jamie, what's up? <laughs> Izzo said Brianna's uh, two thirds of the way to bourbon. Yeah, that's the way you're looking at it. <laughs> Love that. The theater's open up, so we're gonna head in, but uh, yeah. we can talk to people in there too. Cause we still have a little bit of time before the show. Uh, great to see Lynette. Dawn. Who else we got here? Katie McGinnis. Uh, I'm right here. Who are you saying I love you? No, I'm just kidding. Oh. Shelly, what's up? Mike Graney in the house. Love to see Mike. Georgia by a million tomorrow? I, text me privately with these picks. I don't do college football. I just do NFL. By the way, never mind. We'll talk about NFL picks another time. Colin, what's up? Uh, we got to go in before they close the doors. Ben, what's going on? My man Ben, who's on tour. Took the day off work today, chilling at home, wishing I was at the parks and not here in Phoenix, about to crack a brewski. All right, we're going. We're going. Ah! Canadians are so punctual. Ooh. We're in Circle Vision 3D. For those who have never done this show, 
It is a standing room. It's also used sometimes as a uh, food and wine spot, but not this year. Yeah. But uh, you stand up, there's no seats, unfortunately. But you, there's leaners and it's 360 degrees. A few streams back last month, we came to Epcot early. We did um, the France show and the China show, but we didn't get a chance to do this one, so I'm excited. All right, let's see what else is going on. Let me scroll up. Izzo, thank you so much. You're the best. Thank you for the cash app. Yeah, what a freaking sweetheart. I want to kiss his face. Who doesn't love some Izzo? Great to see all of you. I forgot where I left off, but yeah. What's up, Shelly, Jamie, Andrew, Mike? I just said that when we started. Here we go. Ben. Hi, Susan. If you need to exit during this presentation, please use the doors to my right, opposite those you enter. However, they will open automatically at the end of the <laughs> As a courtesy to those around you, we ask that you refrain from flash photography see or video this? recording while in the theater. And now we proudly present Canada Far and Wide. When I was pumping up Piano Rabbit, I didn't know he was watching. He said, I'm glad I wrote the script out for Pete. You're doing great. <laughs> he didn't give me a script. He's just a great guy. I can't wait to see you. Legend says the word Canada comes from Kanata, the Huron Iroquois word for village. And although those early villages have grown into our modern provinces, Canada has remained a cultural mosaic, a place where you can keep and nurture your language and traditions while embracing the future. All of which has made Canada one of the most diverse, modern, and natural places on the globe. So settle in as we take you on a journey far and wide across five regions, six time zones, and 5,700 miles. Or as we like to say in Canada, 9,300 kilometers. Because we have the metric system up here, you know. So you are begin on the East Coast in Nova Scotia with one of our true Canadian treasures, the Blue Nose. She not only looks impressive, she can move too. The Blue Nose was once the world's fastest racing schooner. The Atlantic provinces are well known for their historical towns and traditions, as well as some of the most musical Canadian accents you'll find anywhere in the country. Because oui, oui. French is an official language to Quebec City is one of North America's oldest metropolises. A perfect blending of old world meets new. Just west of Montreal is our nation's capital city, Ottawa. A city of museums, festivals, and celebrations. Oh, and in the winter, don't miss your chance to ice skate on the Rideau Canal. Always a good time. The Thousand Islands Suspension Bridge straddles Canada and the United States across the St. Lawrence River. It's just one of our many natural U.S.-Canadian connections. Niagara Falls is another. And as any self-respecting Canadian will tell you, our falls are bigger than the American Falls. They are, they are better, they are better. That's true. Continuing west of our way bigger falls is the provincial capital, the great city of Toronto. One of the largest cities in North America, and in my opinion, one of Canada. From there. Did I mention the Toronto Raptors? The North has made history! Let's move on to our third region, the Prairie Provinces. With the Rocky Mountains on one side and the prairies on the other, Calgary is absolutely gorgeous and one of today's most exciting modern cities. Cowboy hats are proper dinner attire in a region where horse and ranch culture still thrive. As does the annual Calgary Stampede, a spectacle has been charging along for over a hundred years. Just outside Calgary, the great outdoors get even greater. 
player with activities for every skill and drill level. And I'd be remiss if I didn't acknowledge our deep love of a For many Canadians, it's a way of life. And a way of life for our dentists, too. Yeah. <laughs> I have to admit, in Canada, things can get pretty wild. Actually, very wild. Our journey continues to the West Coast and British Columbia. The Okanagan Valley is home to two very different environments. The valley's temperate climate is ideal for growing grapes in our wine country. And you'll also find Canada's only desert region. Yes, Canada actually has a desert. Now grab your coats, because we're heading toward the snowy peaks of Whistler. At Whistler Mountain, you'll find opportunities for almost every winter sport imaginable. Say, are you a fan of hell Hella yes! And as long as I'm not the one doing it. <laughs> Fortunately, it's just one of the many ways to experience these majestic mountains which were home to much of the 2010 Vancouver Olympics. And this is Vancouver, tucked right next to the Pacific Ocean. There's more vitality been here and culture here than you can shake a Canadian maple leaf in. Canada. <laughs> All right, everyone. So sorry about that. I know we're back down to nine people. Oh. Drop my cup. Uh, okay. Note to self: Canada far and wide. Rough for a live stream. Wi-Fi is not far and wide. Went from yeah, Wi-Fi takes you from eighty to eight people. Huh. <laughs> yeah. No Wi-Fi, no cell service far and wide here in Canada. <laughs> You know what it was? It was only when we went to those northern regions where there's literally nothing. 
That's where they film the show no, alone. That's like that's, it. there's no. no cell phone. No, forget no it. No Wi-Fi. Well, hopefully everyone's refreshing and coming back. Yeah. That should just, we should just put that out there. If we do lose service like that ever on a stream or you get a blurry picture, hit refresh, 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 refresh. If it doesn't get better, let me know and I'll fix it. But yeah, bad beat on the far and wide show. Hopefully everybody comes back because it's time to head to the Rose and Crown. Let's do it. Although it's so early, I'd rather catch the next show. Well, I want to tell her. That's a thing. Like. All right, I have an idea. Hold on one second. I have an idea. Canada. Should we go? Let's see some band and catch up with some chat. Sorry about that, everyone. If you just are rejoining us, we were in Canada far and wide, and apparently, as Lauren said it, and it's brilliant, the cell phone reception and the Wi Fi is not far and wide. We lost you twice. We're on our way up. Crossing that hundred person marker and then it just shot us down to nobody watching So we're back out. Hopefully you're back Never give up always refresh And if you're just joining us for the first time tonight hit that like button We're gonna watch this band we don't want to do Rose and Crown yet because Rob goes on at 6 and we're trying to see the 6 o'clock show and we got called back to Rosen Crown already, but our reservation's 545. So we're gonna kill a little bit of time over here. But I also get to catch up some chat. Hi. Gotta watch Canadian band of the Canada show. I'm gonna go back first and then work my way to present time to where I left off. Bannon. Hey, Chef Ricky, what's going on? Hi, Shannon. Bonjour. It is a beautiful afternoon here in Epcot. Jason Meckis in the house. What's up, Jason? We got to meet Jason right here in Canada. Uh, what is it, a week ago, two weeks ago? I don't know, I have no sense of time. It just flies. Izzo, thanks. And I forgot to hit the like button. Let's all hit it, guys. Thumbs up. Thanks, Izzo. Susan says, I'll be down there next week. I was hoping it would cool down a bit. It's cooling down. I mean, it's not 130. It's like 100. It gets about uh, two degrees cooler every week. Oh, good song. They're good. Tyler Silva, what's up? Glenn Ritchie, what's going on? Alyssa's in the house. Pat Mix 75 is here. Hi, Alex, what's going on? Yeah, this isn't super hot weather, just like standard hot. Peaches P is here. What's up, Peaches? Dawn says, the great outdoors is John Candy to me. Ah, uh, I love John Candy. Suzanne's in the house. What's up, Suzanne? We love the Richie clan. Even shout out to Max. 75 in PA, that sounds perfect. 75 is like dream temperature. 
Weather and low, I'm doing great. Thanks for being here. Terry, what's up? Great to see you. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're welcome, Steven. Steven's the best. Kelsey, what's up? Great to see you. Hi, Ken. All right, folks, so it's amazing. Hi, Albert. When we're having fun because we're already at the last I couldn't read that the stream quality wasn't good now because I couldn't see the messages inside the theater. Bill's here. What's up, Bill? Hope you're doing well. Chief Leaf in the house. Uh, everyone else saying the stream wasn't good. Sorry about that. We didn't know that Canada far and wide was such a dead spot. Steven Singleton checking in from Wyoming. What's up, Steven? Also like Impressions Day France, probably my favorite of all the shows around the world showcase. And you can sit in the air conditioning. Mel, what's going on? Check it in. So I just joined, so I missed the Wi-Fi drop. Good timing. We do miss Martin Short. Although I've been getting my Martin Short fix on a. Uh, only Murders in the Building, loving that show on Hulu. Pete approved. Oh, thanks, Jamie. She said, I came and put the stream on my work computer. Yeah. I forgot who it was yesterday. Maybe Laura? I forgot who it was, but said, when I leave the house, I put your stream on for my dogs. And I love that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Jamie, I think your weather in February will be perfect. If you like cooler weather, I love the winter months here, but the fall is amazing too. I think the fall is approved by 90% of people. Mark Mueller in the house. This is good evening, Pete, Lauren, and the crew. Been here the whole time, but driving New York City and now Hoboken, couldn't take the hands off the wheel. Well, good move, good move. I've been uh, having all the New York feels the last few days. I started at night, I don't know why I did this to myself, but watching a new 9-11 documentary that I didn't see yet. And uh, yeah, all the feels. Nate D, what's going on? Woo! Eric, what's going on? Sorry. Please feel free to visit theirraftsmen.com, just like it's written on the base room up here. It will redirect you towards our Canadian page where you'll find a different name with the same plaid shirt to the same guys, I swear. We're going to be back at 6.15, but for right now, we're coming right down these steps. All right. We're doing musical stream today. Great band here. We are going, if you're just joining us, we haven't seen Piano Rob yet. We're going to go catch him around the 6 o'clock hour. That's when he starts his show in the Rosen Crown. We have a 545 reservation, so we're going to head over to the Rosen Crown just before then. So we have about 20 or so minutes to do some exploring. I just don't know where Lauren went, and we're going to have to find Lauren. But she has a phone, and I'm live, so she's got to know where I am. Doesn't this look so beautiful without barges? They did announce the new show, Luminous, is coming, and we're going to get that show starting December 5th. So we are pretty close. Like two months and two weeks, about, if my math is correct. That is not bad at all. What is that, 10 weeks, roughly? That's very close. Uh, I thought when they announced that they would say, you know, late 2024 <laughs> or summer 2024. The fact that we're going to get this new show in December is crazy, crazy fast for Disney. I mean, well, for current day Disney. Let's just keep it positive. We're very excited it's coming. Oh, hey, duckies. It's a reverse flying V. Have you ever seen it? All right. 
Let's. I wonder when the band in the UK starts. I want to kind of hang out because we only have 20 or so minutes. So we don't have time to run to Soren. We don't have time to run to Living with the Land. We don't have time to run to Figment. We really can just hang here. We may as well just go in, but I really want... Rob starts at six. So if we went in now, we'd have to order and hang out. I feel bad holding up the table for some other family. I'd rather let someone else enjoy the table for the next 30 minutes. While we're here, let's check out some merch. I like these tanks. Look at Mini. That's a great tank. With what I call the scrunchy strings on the bottom. Right past you, I guess. Yep. Over there. What'd she say? She was cool? She said, uh, as long as you come back at 5 I'm like, okay. All right, perfect. That's exactly the time we wanted to go. Um, so, but... Now that we're, we don't have time to do Soren, we don't have time to do them with the land, we don't have time to do Figment, because we have to be back there in 20 minutes or less. So, in 50 minutes, yeah. So, what do you want to do then? You want to walk into maybe one of the shops? You want to look at a booth? Yeah, I was looking at booths, I was hanging out, I was just chit chatting it up with everybody. Seattle Rob is in there already. I'm like, oh, hey. Like, oh, yeah. He's been here since noon. Oh, my God. And he stays all night? Yeah, so there's um, a four, five, six, and seven o'clock dinner show, but he just does one show an hour starting at that time. That's why I made the five forty-five because I wanted to get in, and get seated before he started at six. That's why when she said you can come in at five fifteen, I'm like that kind of ruins it because he's gonna perform for five minutes when we sit down and be done. I want to be there from the start. So, um, but then he also did I think two shows earlier today, which are open where you just go in and kind of hang out, but you need reservations after four o'clock. And since you were getting home from school later on and not going to be there for the, you know, 12, 1 or 2 or whatever it was, I just made the reservation for Rosen Crown. Gotcha. It's pretty... With your permission, was, because I'm a good boy. <laughs> it was packed in the front. Packed. The back, there's like a few tables. I'm like, oh, it's nice. Well, the whole point is like, why I checked in early was just yeah. like, can you just put a note on my account? I want to be by the piano yes. or in and the same room as the I piano. That too. And then like, she was like, yeah, we'll call you in a few minutes. I'm like, no, no, no. Like, I want the 545. <laughs> I just wanted to let you know that when you do call us. That's what I was saying too, and she was just like, uh, also, it's all I right. didn't know that you checked in outside because I was like running around, I'm like, where do I go? Yeah, the check in area outside is where it's at. She's like, go outside by the green umbrella. I was like, oh, got it. It all worked out. It all worked out. Ow. Sorry. Can I hold that? If you want to. Sure. I'd like a little baby sip of it. I'll take a little baby sip too then. Is there anything new and exciting in Port of Entry? Oh, let's go check out Port of Entry and see what's new and exciting. Wow, where'd you get that idea? On the backward box. Let's put you on camera because that way we get views. After you. Hey, you're good. Where am I going? Cheers. I do like a lot of the vintage stuff, like this old beach bag, like. Oh, God, I love, that's nice. Okay. Thank you. I didn't have two hands. I was holding the water bottle and the no, camera. You're, you're okay. And trying to get the Look sweat out of my contacts. Like You'd be proud of me. I put new contacts in today, because faster than normal. Normally I do once a month, but I've just been sweating into my eyes. Look at this. That's a. Uh, we can match. You can wear that. I can wear that. Wow, the Hill figure collection now at Disney. Wow. Hill figure made its way into Disney. Well, Lauren, most of the country does go through a cold period besides us. Winters are colder, summers are hotter. Dry fit? Yeah, I like this one. Yeah. Interesting, yeah. Is this somebody that we should The know? Ryan Spooner collection? Oh no, get out of here. You know how many tumblers we have? I like the colors a lot. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna just auction off forty tumblers on the Monday show. Forty dollars. Thirty nine ninety five. How much? Forty nine ninety five. Holy 
moly. What do you buy it and then not able to drink for the next month? It's that Disney money. The stream is blurry. Wait. Is the stream better now? Is Lauren blurry? What? For you, not for me, but yeah. That would not work on me. I know what works. That is not it. But there's always room for one more. I know, it's, there's no rules anymore. Yeah, there's a whole Foolish Mortals collection. Also because the movie came out, I have a feeling is, but also there's no rules. I'm a heartbreaker till death do us part. It's a satchel. What does it say in the collar? Tomb sweet tomb. See, I like this vintage stuff, like the wonderful world of color. Let's show everyone that. This is the stuff I like, Lauren. Part of that Disney 100? Yeah, it's uh, that heavy cotton. Ooh, look at these shorts. That's how much this is. Uh, probably 40. Yeah. I'm pretty good at guess the price. Um, who's doing that? Sean and... Uh... Why did I just forget her name? Kristen. Sean and Kristen are doing the guess the price. I feel like I would dominate. Uh, try the grace of it's delicious. I like it. It's a good idea for a segment. Prices are going up. I do like this stitch hat. Although, if I'm going to get a hat, it's the Adventures by Carney hat. You know what we have to get? This or this. No, I like this one. Because we do one every year. Too much space. All right, I'm just I saying, I like the yes. stem, you like the stem list, but I think we've been doing stemless sets for years because we've been together. Going your way. But before we were together, I collected these every year that I came, and then since I've been with you, I'm pretty sure we've done just stemless. But this is a different turn it around. It's the same logo, right? Just a different color. As long as we just get a wine glass from every year, I'm a happy camper. Maybe we'll get one of each. It's really the only thing I collect from this festival. Dawn says, I haven't bought a wine glass with a stem in 15 years, LOL. <laughs> uh, they're classy, but yeah, you're right. We mostly, we what, we're mostly stemless? Mel, this is a great point. Why do they sell sweaters during the summer? No one knows. Nobody knows. So Shelly said, uh, my little room at work is decorated in Disney. I love that. Just Mousing Around says, why are your streams always 720? I don't know. I don't even know how to change it. I didn't even know my streams were 720. Are we blurry right now? Someone let me know. I don't know. We're blurry? I'll fix it. Let me know. I thought it was better. Let me know and I'll fix it if we're blurry. So blurry. All right, let's fix it up. I'm going to go to the Wi-Fi. No one go anywhere. Hold on one sec. Hold on one second. We're going to go to the Wi-Fi. Hey, so this is what it's every layer of the burger. It's a different poster. There's six of them. Very cute. Bun, the bottom bun, the, the uh, cheese, the meat, lettuce, the tomato. $24.99. So everyone just rejoined with you saying tomato, $24.99. <laughs> Sorry. Doesn't make sense. What am I saying? Oh, it's our little booties. Oh my 
I got Crocs. All right, hopefully we're better. Is it better now? Ryan Palos says, looks great now. There you go. Thanks, everyone, for letting me know. I want to bring you the best possible stream. So please, let me know in the chat. If it's a little blurry, we'll fix it. Like we just did. All right, is it that time? Should we go see Piano Rob, yeah, everyone? Let's, let's make our way over there. Why let's not? go see Piano Rob. Let's go have a little... In the air conditioning. Yeah, let's go to the Rose and Crown Pub. For those who don't know, so back in the day, if you're an OG fan, eh? Good to see you. Love the headbands. Uh, Carol Stein and many other piano players used to play right in the bar area and just have a great time, sing songs, improvise different medleys with guests that were just hanging out at the Rose and Crown Pub. In hindsight, it's kind of crazy because Rose and Crown's always crowded anyway to think that there was a piano that held people in the room and kept people inside when they're trying to push people through is insane to me. So I missed the piano, but this actually does make more sense, I guess, from a business standpoint. But anyway, they moved the piano into the dining room and they continue that tradition. And our buddy, Piano Rob, is hanging out there today. He is the pianist of the day over at Rose and Crown Pub. So we're gonna go support him. We're gonna go hang out. We made a reservation. We'll show you the menu for Rose and Crown. We'll show you what it's like. And even though Rob may just be working today, he does come in from time to time. You can go follow him at piano underscore Rob on Insta to find out his schedule. But there's other amazing piano players as well that hang out there and that work at the Rose and Crown. So if, you, if you're into that kind of thing, I like live entertainment when I'm eating. Also, this could be a thing for you. If you're a fan of the Boathouse, he also has, uh, he does dueling pianos with another person. I don't know his name. Yep. But uh, it rotates on the weekends, too. Yep, we talked about can... that on the way in. Friday nights oh. and Saturday and Sunday mornings yeah. for brunch. It's so nice. I love brunch at the Boat House. It's my fave. Get an espresso martini because they're banging. Lauren does love their espresso martini. They also have this, what's the name of the drink? The little rubber ducky. Uh, Some kind of martini. Something. But it's cute. Yeah. It's very Instagrammable. For all those other live streamers and vloggers, Canada far and wide, not the best with service or Wi-Fi. Nice Look who it is! Hey. I love that you have a pin that says, I am Joe. That's awesome. <laughs> Shut up, Joe! That's so great. I love it. What are you guys up to today? Oh, oh us too. Yeah, our reservation's uh, now. Uh, we're running at Carney time as usual. All right, so you're going to this one? When's your reservation? Oh, okay. So you're right behind us. No, I'm saying like this reservation, like, because he does a show on the hour. So like, we're at 5.45, they're going at 6.45. Yeah, he does on the hour, so. What? All right, well, I just want to say hi. It was great to see you. Great to see you. Great to see you. Great to see you. I'll see you guys later. Off we go. So for those who don't know, uh, is it? Okay, hold on one second. Hold that thought. Um, because it's not important to this next ten seconds, right? Okay. So just for everyone who knows, if you're looking for coffee, there's that Starbucks location, which is towards the front. But if you're in the World Showcase, there are three Joffrey's locations, with an additional one over by Mission Breakout. Uh, not Mission. Yeah, right. Cosmic Rewind. Not Mission Breakout. Cosmic Rewind. Uh, and they do have their own drink for each stop. This one has the frozen raspberry, uh, roseberry, which is a refreshing blend of frozen lemon and strawberry rosé syrup. But if you look down below, they can make them with alcohol. So you can try the different cocktails from Joffrey's. It's something we used to really like to do. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. All right, let's go. You want to check in? Let me know we're actually here this time. You know where the check-in area is? For those who don't know, Lauren just learned. But the check-in area is actually outside of the Rose and Crown. It's right here, this little green awning. Rose and Crown, a staple here in the World Showcase. This is where I like to tell people I start and finish my rotation. However, if you're coming in from the front, the only correct way is Mexico. Let's be real, right? Come on. But since we come in from the world 
uh, the International Gateway into the World Showplace most of the time. We stop here first and then head to Mexico. We'll catch up with the chat in just a second. If you're enjoying the stream, please hit that like button. We're only about 10 likes away from 100. Let's try to hit that 100 before we even see Rob. If you're here to see Rob, let me know. If you're new, say hi. Uh, shout out to all the lurkers. I know not everyone's a big chatter, but it's great to have you here. Hope you had an amazing week and a fantastic Friday. The weekend has arrived. It is a beautiful but a bit warm here at Epcot at Walt Disney World here in Orlando, Florida. I'm Pete Carney. What's going on? So great to see you. Great to have you here. If you ever see me in the parks, come up, say hi. Let's take a picture together. Let's have a drink together. Let's have some fun. That's what it's all about. Yeah, I'm just happy you're here. And yeah, if you hit the like button, thanks so much. I really appreciate it. And shout out to all the new subscribers. I see everyone coming in. Uh, the subscriber numbers are creeping up. Love that. We're so close to 8K. Obviously, we're on the hunt. We're going to try. We're shooting for 10K by the end of the year. It's, it's ambitious, but we're trying. All right, we're being called. Let's do this. Let's eat some food. Thanks so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So there's outdoor seating, which is great for fireworks. But if you want to come in during the day, the best spot is inside, right by the piano. Yes. Yeah. We want both want to just stare into Rob's eyes. And Emma's going to be inside of tonight, so she'll bring him. Thank you so much, Meg. Appreciate it. All right. So first off, hi everyone. I'm Pete. That's Lauren. If you're new, we moved down to Orlando about four years ago. Been loving it, uh, having a great time, and we made amazing friends like Piano Rob, who's about to perform here at the Rose and Crown. I'm gonna walk you through the menu, and as if you've never been here before, if you're gonna be a big favor, hit the like button. Uh, and Rob starts in about 15 minutes, so this is perfect time, and we'll get our food in. Um, I don't know if you want a drink or something, but then we'll go from there. All right, let's walk through the menu again. Yeah. It is a very tiny menu. <laughs> well, yes. So, your Rose and Crown appetizers. You have the Coronation Salad, which is a crisp salad with a madras dressing on top of a crunchy grain cracker. The Scotch Egg, golden fried hard-boiled cage-free egg wrapped in sausage with mustard sauce. Then you have the Rose and Crown signature favorites such as the fish and chips, Rosen Crown's signature dish with beer batter and served with tartar sauce. The bangers and mash, traditional English sausage. Uh, Cocaine and potatoes, mushrooms, onions, and a red wine demi. Uh, and then your entrees, the shepherd's pie, ground beef, seasonal vegetables, English peas, mashed potatoes with Irish cheddar, that sounds amazing. And then the savory impossible hot pots, this is your vegan friendly option. Seasonal vegetables and a plant-based meat casserole baked with a mashed potato topping. Then I know a lot of people, desserts are what matter most. You have the sticky toffee pudding, which is very popular. Steamed pudding cake served with a warm vanilla custard with a hot butter rum sauce. And then you have your plant-based option, your plant-based seasonal gelato with mixed berries. Your non-alcoholic specialty drink is the specialty character drink, which just sounds like sugar on top of sugar <laughs> in a sugar cup. No. And the back, all the good stuff. Oh my God, it is sugar. It's all the drinks. So they do have a decent scotch whiskey collection. They have a flight, uh, they, they have several flights, I mean. They have a single malt flight, a Johnny Walker flight, a Macallan flight, Irish whiskey flight, decent wine list. They also do pub blends. So these are blends of different beers that you mix together. Uh, you know, people have heard of, a, you know, like a black and tan. Well, they also do half and half. So all of these are two different beers mixed together. They're very popular. But the most popular drink here is most likely the Welsh Dragon, which is peach schnapps liqueur, melon liqueur, creme de mint liqueur, orange juice, and pineapple juice. It is the most popular, but it's a little sweet for me. What were you gonna say? I was gonna ask you, I never got the golden. I was gonna get a harp, but like it comes with an amber. Should I try that? Try the golden. Yeah, Because I not? like an amber. Maybe I'll try that. Why not? I think you should try something new every time. 
I've never had the Irish whiskey flight. Nah, just kidding. You should see Lauren's face. <laughs> whiskey and me. All right, so let's talk about what we're going to have or split. Yeah. Well, okay, my, I would go soon. Hey, how's it going, Neil? How are you? I'm sorry? What about you visiting us from? Oh, oh well, originally we're from New York, but now we live here in Orlando. Oh, yeah. oh. oh nice. well, York, the original York, not New York, but the original <laughs> York. Yeah. yeah. I don't think we don't have any allergies, right? No, no, no. We're good. Okay. Did you want a couple of ice waters? That would be amazing. Yeah, that'd be great. Yes, please. Can I actually do mine without ice? Is that possible? Yeah. Thank you. Sure, why not? And I, I'm gonna put in uh, an order, the golden here, for a drink. The golden? Yep. Yeah. I'll do the half and half, please. <laughs> Yes, okay. please. Do you mind being on camera? Can we put it so everyone knows what this place is like? Is it okay? Yeah. All right, I just wanted to ask first. There's Lauren. But here's... I have fat thumbs. There's Neil. All right. Don't worry, it's a good angle. So the fish and the fish and chips is cake at the moment. It's a lot of fish similar to cold. It comes in a crispy beer bag. And I don't know if you've had a scotch egg before. It's so British people, it's something my family take in the country of the It's a hard boiled egg, wrapped in sausage meat, rolled in red curls, and then they deep fry it and serve it with some mustard sauce and preserved. Wow. Delicious. So, did you want me to let me look at the food while they get the drink? That would be perfect. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah, let's make Thank some decisions. You. Thanks, Neil. Please eat out on the hour. So yes, that's why we're. Uh, we know we're Rob. Yes. Uh, we're excited. <laughs> yeah, we're pumped for it. Uh, but yeah, let's, we're going to decide on some food. Thank you yeah. so much, Neil. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Um, I was thinking if you wanted to split the fish and chips, I would be down for that. Would you actually eat it? Yeah. Okay. I've had fish and chips before. Okay. I'll do yeah. that. Okay. It's a gigantic piece. So I when know. you guys, if you've never seen the fish and chips from here, it is tremendous. I had it when we went to... Um, What's that English place we went to for brunch um, that used to be Oh, that used to be over there, yeah. Um, that's where we did a uh, Patreon meetup, too. Yeah. Uh, we were with Brandy and Nelson. I forget the name. Oh, I, it's like a weird name. Hold on, let me think of it. It'll come to me. It's a British place, but I had the fish and chips there. And it was a huge platter. Yeah. Wait, Yaomans. Wait, it's coming to me? <laughs> Yaomans. I just said it. Yaomans Kesk and what was it Larder? Larder? Hey, it was like Kesk and Larder. Yard, larder? I think it was Larder. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. All right. I got it there. So, so I, would, I would eat that. I would split that with you. All right. So let's split a fish and chips. Yeah. And that's going to be, I think, enough yes. food for both of us. Yes. We try to eat lighter in the evenings. I uh, I eat heavy in the mornings or a lunch. I'll skip breakfast and do a heavy lunch, but uh, I typically eat pretty light in the evening. So that's perfect for us. Yeah. Plus, we're going to be having some proper beverages. I'm so trying a favorite. golden. Uh, I normally get a harp, which is a light uh, lager, but this is um, half harp and half Amber Ale. Bombardier. There you go. The same people who made our monorails. But what? I don't know if they brew beer, but it's the same name. Oh, Bombardier, really? Bombardier is the person who manufactures the monorail that we currently have at Walt Disney World. Okay. Uh, that is very old, but okay. they're still refurbing them. They're going to make them last forever. Thank you so, so much. So is the brewery Bombardier different from the company that makes the monorails? So. Uh, I would say so too. I just figured I'd ask. I had a strong feeling they weren't connected. You can never tell, though, can you? Is it Yamaha who does like pianos and motorbikes? Yes, Yamaha so does do pianos right. and motorbikes. Yeah. That's some weird synergies, yeah, yeah, it is. That's true. Yeah. That's very true. I mean, Disney's about to get into gambling. It's crazy the world we live in. Oh, true. Yeah. 
I need a motorbike and a piano all the time. So maybe there is a somewhere that sells beer and needs beer monorails. So yeah, like hey, we have a brewery and a monorail company. Yeah. We come yeah. to work each morning and you say, oh, so you got to the office and it says, well, today you're going to be making monorails and then you're coming the next time. I would just imagine to me, like, that's how they take people home. Like, you've had enough, get on the monorail. <laughs> like, <laughs> that would be great. Have you got your just busy. It be too no worries. I know it's a madhouse over there. Yeah. Um, is it possible that we could split a dish? Yeah, this is it. Can we do the fish and chips? You sold it to us. The hake I'm excited about. Yeah. That Bombardier beer sauce. So the amber is what they put on the outside oh, nice. of the fish and chips. Yeah. Um, did you have any other two? No, give us everything. <laughs> I think I might have asked you that already, but I'll yeah. check. Thank you so much, Neil. You're awesome. Uh, you want to take one and we'll leave one in case we look at the drinks or more food or whatever happens happens. Is that okay? Yeah. Thank you so much, Neil. He's freaking He is. I don't think everyone heard you. But go ahead. Stay to the camera. Neil is very cute. A sweet little man. No, he's a big man. That's you say little. Oh, you think everyone gets you like I get you? Like, little is not what I we want to hear. I want to give him a little hug. You're like, oh, look at you, Peter, my sweet little man. I'm like, I don't want to be a little man. I want to be a big man. All right, you are, but you're my little man. Oh, jeez, see, this is where I get it from. Also, I used to never. I used to say, oh, look at that cute dog. Like that's an, a cute dog. That's a cute dog. Since I started dating Lauren, I'm like, look at the baby. Look at the, the dog could be on its last legs. And, oh, and you're like, look at the baby. It's a baby. <laughs> so now whenever I see a dog, I go, look at the baby. It's a baby. All right, should we catch up with some chat? Here's your water. Thank you, yeah. Let's have some water first, because I'm Let's parched. Let's do that. Yeah, I'm very parched. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Ooh. There's a hole in my lip. Look at this. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Thank you, Neil. A proper half and half. I know. He's very, very nice. It's just very polite. I just, I like him. Me too. Especially because... We'll talk about this on Monday, too. By the way, we have a new show every Monday at noon uh, Eastern. Come watch. Mixing it up. Uh, mix it up Mondays. But Welcome to Wrexham is back, so I'm in a big British mood. Oh, it was perfect to watch today before Piano Rob. Half and half, baby. Guinness and Harp. She's got uh, Bombardier, Lager, and Harp. Ooh, ooh, that's nice. I do like an amber ale, and I don't typically get it anymore because I feel like... I either do like an IPA or a sour, but I've always really enjoyed it, a nice amber ale. Like the just flavor is really, it's almost like autumn to me. It's nice. I never was big into ambers, um, but I can appreciate ambers, like a nice like judge beer. Try yeah, of course, I'll try it's it. Really, what do you it's nice? Really I like it has a lot of flavor. Very light, nice. yeah. It's very light. light. But it it's like, it tastes like Oktoberfest to me. Yeah. Like, no, the real one out in Germany. Oh. All right. There we go. A lot of the beers there. Like, that's like close to... Yeah. It's good. It's good. Yeah. It's delicious. I think I'm using your coaster to wipe up the circles you keep making on the table, but we'll just do this instead. Okay. Why do you... All right. Hold up. Wait a minute. Put a little shake and hake in it. Uh, we got a super chat. What? What? Friggin' Daniel. That Most generous guy in the world. Nice. You can Daniel and Tori. I'm gonna heart it. Oh, you, maybe you can't. I don't know how to heart it. Okay, maybe you can. Hold on. Oh, there I got you it. Are. I got it. Thank Shout you so out to much. the Tomorrowland oh Traveler, God. Daniel and Tori. Um, it's very nice. Yes. My very, goodness. very nice. Very generous. So kind. And by the way, like we mentioned earlier today. Uh, everyone should use a Disney travel agent. Even if you live here, like we live here, if we're buying tickets to a special event uh, at all, whether it's like H2O Glow or a, a Halloween party, Christmas party, Jingle Jangle party, whatever they're doing over at Hollywood Studios. Jingle Jangle? <laughs> they're doing the holiday party over there. I call it the Jingle Jangle party. <laughs> I like it. 
like that. <laughs> but even those events, you can use a travel agent for it. Even if you don't want to, it's just easier. And you have someone in your corner when they call those Disney hotlines instead of you waiting on the phone. They'll wait on the phone, which is amazing. And I mean, I'm not saying anything new that they don't know. They know. Uh, also, recommendations, fun facts, uh, hints and tips. Travel agents are the way to go. What, you don't like the hat like this? What do you think you are with that hat? Like that? I just feel super cool right now. Also, it fits on the camera. Up here, it was weird, and I feel like it looked weird. I, my forehead looked like it just kept going off the camera. Oh, so here. I love this. Hold on, can I finish? I'm sorry. I saw it. You know. I got excited. We're in the middle of a sentence, Lauren. In West Philadelphia. Welcome Lawrence. to my life. You look, you look like Fresh Prince of Bel-Air with that hat. Already? Wow. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> Holy moly. Oh my goodness Sweet, gracious. sassy, molassy. <laughs> wow. Look at this. Oh my Do gosh. You, okay, so what are these? So you've got things? ketchup and tartar. Tartar. Do you And have, this is the malt? That's malt vinegar, yeah. Yes. Do you have ranch dressing or not? I'll get you ranch dressing. That would be great. Lewis is disgusted with your ranch dressing request. No, I'm some ranch. That's fine. Thank you. Oh, they're they're pissed. They are pissed. <laughs> this is great. I Lewis hooked it up. Ranch, yeah. Yeah. Oh, good, good Silly Americans. <laughs> Look at this. You want more water, maybe? Right? Um. Yeah. I mean, no rush. I'll finish that. I have this. We're good. You're the best. Thanks, Neil. All right. Would you like the full plate or the other plate? Okay. So I'll take like... I'm going to splash mine with a little lemon. Oh yeah, do oh, that. Look at that. Thank you so much. You want to splash all of ours? With... <laughs> mm -hmm. You want me to do it or you want to do it? Yeah, go ahead, get in there. Oh yeah, we love lemon in this family. You leave so much lemon in on the, the rind, yeah. Like all this goodness. I'm just gonna brush it. Brush it, baby, brush it. Look at that, it looks so beautiful. So beautiful? It's beautiful. I was gonna say it looks real sexy, but I was trying to keep it Disney, but <laughs> you know what? It does look sexy. All right. That was so fast. So fast. We don't have time to catch up with chat or anything. Piano Rob didn't even start singing yet. We're gonna have to take our time eating. Yeah. You wanna be on camera while you eat? I don't care. I don't like that. Don't well, really we spent care. so much time talking about my hat, uh, we didn't get into the chat. <laughs> Sorry. All right. I like mine proper, so I'm gonna use a little uh, malt vinegar and tartar mm -hmm. sauce. No ketchup or ranch for me. At least on the fish, maybe the fries. Oh, mine are put on the fish. Oh, I thought you were gonna put on the fish. No, on the fries. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Anyway, big thank you to Tomorrowland Traveler. Go to the TomorrowlandTraveler.com uh, if you're going to book up a Disney vacation or Universal or just if you want to see how awesome he is. He also has a YouTube channel. Go check out Tomorrowland Traveler. Yes. All right. Look at this. Nice flaky crust. Nice inside. Oh, yeah. Mm. Let's try it with nothing first. Sweet sassy molassi. Uh, Look who uh, it is. It is JC from InSync. Here at the Rosen Crown. He stole my whole look. I know. So I love the Stat Island too. Oh. So I, I look at you with the name tag. I, I said Florida. They, they did that? They oh, let me turn this around and put it on you. You're, you're the star. Island. What are we singing today? Anything fun? We'll find out. All right, sweet. I'm excited. This is good, this fish and chips here. It is delicious fish and chips. So I was going to say, my first bite was just the lemon. Fantastic. It's really good. I'm going to give it a little bit of tartar. I haven't had fish and chips in forever. I couldn't tell you the last time I had. I can say when I was in London, approximately, well, I won't say how long ago, but. Why? It was still my age. Oh, okay. It was right before the London Olympics. Um, I had a lot of fish and chips when we were there. Mmm. Mm. A little bit of tartar sauce? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the tartar sauce is good. Yeah. But even straight up, I love it. 
Honestly, yeah, really the tartar good. kind of takes away from the, flavor. the beer batter yeah, exterior yeah. and the little bit of lemon we put on it. I think it's perfect. I wasn't expecting that. I'm not going to make this a finger food, but just go for it. Go for it. Woo. How's everything tasting? Very good. So good. We don't even need toppings. It's so good the way yeah. it is. It's so good. Thank you, Neil. All right, Rob's warming up. Let's show you why we came here. <laughs> A second what Bill said. It's so jealous. Fish and chips and now piano rob. What a night. I right? agree. And I got Lauren here. Oh no. This bag Stop of bones. <laughs> <laughs> How lucky am I? Stop. I love it. Can't even get us a play free bird. Alright, let's go back to catching up with the chat. Anything else you want to say, Lauren, before we uh, get into the chat here? No, sorry. It's okay. I love it. Love you too. I'm just teasing. Everyone likes your comments, Eric. Wow, thanks. They love your interruptions. Can't help it. Shout out to Ryan, Palo, we love Ryan. Just mousing around, my man from Long Island in the house. Follow the Bradley Swanson, how did you fix it? I just, I switch from Wi-Fi to cell and see what people say. The key is when you switch off back to cell service, you have to turn off your Wi-Fi, not just turn like, not just switch. You have to completely turn off the Wi-Fi if you do switch. Shout out to Peaches P, Shannon, Chief Leaf, Mel. Mel says, uh, Rose and Crown, dignity and leisure. I love that. Izzo's gonna stream tonight right after our live stream. So if you guys wanna keep this party going after we're done later on, Go follow Izzo's place. Dawn, we are at the ABC table from our last meetup when we were here. Oh, was here? Yeah, when we came and watched Carol. You're right, you can't chat when you're watching on the TV, but you can uh, watch the live chat. Ryan's been running into Rob a lot lately. Well, that's fun. Just do it. No, Something just let him do it. All right, let you do it. We don't want requests. We want whatever you want to play. I was just trying to do like a UK thing. Lauren, I'm sure he's got a UK playlist. If anything, you got to request something ridiculous, like Disney music or like this song. <laughs> like I would have never request this. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, love this song. Great song. Dun, yes, it is. I'm stealing all the fries. Go ahead. No, I feel bad. Just not all. I feel bad. Mm, 
your best behavior. Everybody wants to rule the world. Of course I remember with you guys. What's up, living with the lemons? We are doing HHN. We're doing HHN actually as a group. If you guys go to adventuresbycarney.fun, we have our whole schedule. Maybe Rob will join us. But I don't want to talk over Rob. This is a great song. Well, his mic's not on, so I gotta give support. Mike is on, but he recognized that. He gave me a look like I know, so maybe he's asked and it hasn't gotten any feedback. It sounds like he's frustrated with it too. Sexy Kenny, Kenny H. Because I think you should do the whiskey flight with a laughing face. Kenny, get out of here. Andrew, what's up? Everybody wants to move on. Wow, just mousing around consulted at Bombardier for a little bit. Oh, wow. Look at that. And Ryan says, Bic makes pens and sailboats. That's crazy. <laughs> Legitimately, or is it? Yeah, no, it's legit. Oh. Rewind that again. Let's go. Huh? <laughs> I love the play free bird. <laughs> Nate and Chief love talking to animals. Yeah, we do that too. Nate, happy Friday. Oh, another great song. A Disney classic. Helder, what's up? Helder in the house. Hey, Helder. We had a great time at Helder this past weekend at SeaWorld. Brenda, what's going on from New Jersey? This is the Golden is my favorite at Rose and Crown. Nice. Here, you can have this. I don't want the whole thing. I want some of it. I'll have whatever you don't finish there, too. Yeah, this is an amazing fish and chips. Yeah. Big fans, big fans. Like the fish is so like moist, you know. So you think? Yeah, I'm, I'm a huge fan. I can't say enough about it. I'm saying like the fish is like very moist. I agree with you. In contrast to the crispy outside, like I think I, it's great. That's the whole point. That's yeah, fantastic. It's what a good fried chicken and fish and chips should have a common: a crispy outside with a moist yeah. inside. Yeah. Take them home.
All right, let's see who we have that we're going on with. Adam's Land says, uh, what's going on? Oh, I think it was a Rexham comment. I got to go back to it. Said, I live 12 miles from Wrexham, but I support their main rival team, Chester. Oh, no. <laughs> Said, I don't like Wrexham. Oh, no. But enjoy the British beers. Adams Land, we need to become friends because I'm coming out to a game in Wrexham. I'm going to Wales. I need to go to the turf. I need to go explore Wrexham. Can you be my tour guide? Even though you're not a fan, can you be my tour guide? Please. I love the first episode of season two. If no one's ever seen it, go watch season one of Welcome to Wrexham. It's for everybody. You don't have to be a sports fan at all. Uh, Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney bought an English football team, which is soccer, and uh, it's amazing. Go watch it. Adam's Lemon, whoa, ranch on fish and chips? No, don't worry. She's just putting it on her fries, not the fish. No way. I'm with you, Suzanne. Mold vinegar is the best. Love these songs. Yeah. These guys are from across the pond. Slide. Woo! Susan says. So I was made aware yesterday that Rosencrantz is a fireworks dining package. App on train dessert. Yep. And all you can carry a drink. Not bad. For 89 bucks. Not bad at all. Nate's got a lemon tree. They're still green, though. I go through so many lemons. We should get a lemon tree. We really should. I love lemon. I can eat lemon rub. Faster than a cannonball. We were getting Someday you will find me underneath the landslide. Adam's Land says fish and chips of the Rosen Crown are pretty decent. They're not quite uh, the same as across the pond, but they're pretty okay, which is a big compliment. <laughs> Katie McGinnis, play, play free bird. The one thing I never understood about the UK Pavilion is uh, the costuming, is that you never see people wearing that in British pubs. I will say that's true, but you do see in a lot of tours. When I did a lot of tours in London, oh, yeah? this is what the people giving the tours look like. So I think Disney is playing up to the tourist and, like tourist okay. side of the UK. Yeah. Hi, Sierra. I hope you guys are having a great dinner. Yes, we are. Hanging out here at Piano Rob. Do you see this comment from Shannon? Talk about at the end of the song. Oh, well, he's gonna play the piano out, so we can talk over it. I don't want to talk over his singing, just the piano in the background. Here we go. Big round of applause. Three, two. Oh yeah. Woo! Oh yeah. <laughs> so Shannon said, "Can we take a moment to shout out Lauren and her running journey?" So proud. I am very oh, proud of Lauren, you. and she is doing all three races in the Wine and Dine weekend coming up in about Yee! six to seven weeks. Uh, which means she's doing the 5K on Friday, the 10K on Saturday, and a half marathon on Saturday. So if you want to help support Lauren, she's running for the National Down Syndrome Society. You can go find out. That link is down below in my description. Or just hit me up in the Discord or on my social media at Official Carney on Instagram. Your WDW guy on Twitter. Uh, Adventures by Carney on TikTok or Adventures by Carney on Patreon. If you want to help support the National Down Syndrome Society, uh, Lauren is running for them. And she's... Uh, Pretty close to our goal, but we need, we could always use some more love. I could put it in the chat too, the link. All right, perfect. Yeah, his mic isn't the loudest. I think he's aware. We're, we've been talking about him. <laughs> Glenn says, is he playing the Guardians ride soundtrack? Yes, he is. Thanks for posting the link, Shelly, to the website. Oh, good song. <laughs> the 
this table didn't like being right next to Rob. That's where we should have went. Yeah, but then I wouldn't be able to like see. I want to see him. Yeah, but we'd be able to hear him. Oh, I feel so bad. Stealing the fries, what a shocker. <laughs> he knows you. Mr. Dave in the house, what's up? Uh, I want a half and half, one with a golden. So mine's a uh, harp and Guinness. Black and tan would be uh, typically an amber, uh, like a bass and Guinness. Adam's Lance said, I'm sure we can arrange a few beers to show you around Rexham. Nice. I'll just need a good hot shower afterwards. Eh, eh, no worries. <laughs> Look at that, Traveler can book the Wales trip. Wow. Hopefully he'll just come with us. No, I mean, I do basketball as well. Oh, a little figment love. Also, yeah, I like a lighter option. That's why I go for the harp. It's too hot out here. Shelly is awesome. Thank you for posting all the links, Shelly. You're amazing. And Lauren's fundraiser is also linked. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you again to the Tomorrowland Traveler for that amazing super chat. Yes. I didn't realize it went that far back. I'm, I'm going to keep eating. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, she didn't finish, but I'm going to finish all her bits and pieces. No, no, no. You're good. I'm, I just can't waste it. It's so good. I'm just a few bites away. Thank you, Neil. Big meal, Lauren. I can't. He's very sweet. He's a cute little man. Give him a cast compliment. Where do I do that? Right in the app. They have a section now. If you scroll down the My Disney Experience oh, app really? to the bottom, you can just literally hit oh, the cast I compliment. I love that. I love that. I'm doing it right It takes two now. seconds. Everyone, if you find a great cast member, I oh, highly recommend amazing. you do cast compliments. Down here, or do I do the three lines? So you go to this. Okay. I'll show everyone. Here's how you do a cast compliment. You hit the three things on the bottom, then you scroll down, and you go to. Oh, there it is. Cast yeah. compliment. Oh man. And then you just go through the steps, and then they get a mobile cast compliment. That's amazing. I'm doing it right now. I didn't know that I would be doing it all the time. They make it so easy now. Thanks everybody who is uh, hanging out with us today. Please hit that like button if you're enjoying Piano Rob here at the Rose and Crown Pub in the UK. We're here at the UK Pavilion at Epcot. Rob's jamming out. How easy and 
amazing is that? That's amazing. You guys want me to be doing this all the time. I love it. I love when you compliment people. I think Do you hear what's playing? It's so easy. See the boat, friendship boat going by outside. I like the ceiling. There's a great ceiling. Nice. For those curious, the Rosen Crown pub, the main bar right over there, where we've done many, many times on the streams. But this is where you want to be now. Yes, yes. 
All right, so tell us the truth. That's a fake mic, right? <laughs> Um, if you're in the bar area, I know it's going to be tough because it comes from the, the speakers. I just know everything's going to look like, especially at dinner. I, mean, the, I think they don't change it the whole day, but I think they want everybody to be able to talk. Like the servers and everybody. No, we're here. Everyone's here for you. Nobody wants to talk. They can talk all day. No, it was amazing. No, no, I'm only kidding because like we, we heard you, thank goodness. But I was like, you could use like I'm sure the people in that dining room have no idea. You're just heard PA. Well, and I don't know. See, depending on how quiet. Yeah, because even on our stream, they're like, "Is this mic on?" And I was like, "Yeah, allegedly." Every everybody like the two thirty six when they don't do dinner, like it's just you can sit with their Yeah. So I had like one. Those sets were a little more rowdy. I was gonna say, cause you get the whole crowd from everybody. Right? We came to the classy ones because I was waiting for Lauren. She had to teach the youth of America here in Florida. Well, somebody's got to do it. Well, I'm not we came to the classy it. set. It was beautiful. You did a great job. Yeah. I love the mix nice. too. It's a little nice. bit of Disney, a little bit of uh, England, UK love. Yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah. If I get requests, I'll do pretty much whatever, but if not, UK, Disney. Yeah. We got a bunch of free bird in the chat, but I didn't want to do it to you. Uh, yeah. Always. I just left it away. Always, always. Yeah, always free bird. <laughs> Well, listen, man. Hey, great set, dude. Great seeing you. Great seeing you. Yeah. Everyone, handsome piano Rob taking yes. off. Wait, uh, you wait. can come again, piano underscore Rob on Instagram. Anything else we should plug? TikTok, same thing. Piano underscore Rob. All right, Bye. love it. Go follow me. You can find out if he's gonna play here at the Rosen Crown. We love Rob. We love Rob. And Allie. And Allie. You gotta show her some love. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I was allowed to, but yeah, and Alex. Oh. Well, you said it first, not me. All right. But we love Allie, and she's got an awesome TikTok, too. Yeah. All right, let's catch up with some chat now. Let's catch up. Catch up with the chat. <laughs> All right, so no, uh, yeah, so apparently they, I don't think they have bass here anymore. They. I don't see it. I think they've been using like some other stuff too, like Killian or something like that. But I enjoy the half and half because it is harp on the bottom, Guinness on top, a little bit lighter. Uh, and a lot of people think Guinness is heavy. It's actually pretty light. It's only 4%. It's a lighter stout. Thank you so much. Thank you, Neil. We had a great experience. We just gave you a cast compliment. So hopefully you get it. Yeah. That means it'll Well, I hope so. Because you were awesome. You are very polite. We made, you made our night so wonderful, so thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's where we're live right now. Yeah. Everyone, this is Neil. Become see Neil. Tell me you saw him on the channel, and he's the best server. I mean, we just we love him. So there he is. Yeah. If you want a little sticker, we have a sticker. Sticker for you. Now you're the star of the channel, Neil. You're the star of the channel. We gotta come back. You're good, you're good. Thank you so much for everything. I appreciate you. Look, he even wrote, I, I knew this was going to be his handwriting. Too. Isn't that just story check out? He's precious. So precious. He's got the same handwriting as you would guess. It's the cutest. Ah, what a great guy. All right, so we always show everybody. <laughs> oh, uh, what a great guy. Oh, he's a great guy. Um, so, yeah, if you're having dinner here, we got uh, two beers and the fish and chips. We use a pass holder discount. Uh, this is what it will come out to. I don't know if you can see it or not. What is it? But 50 bucks plus tip. Okay. Um, just like to give everyone an idea so when they come. Yeah. I think the fish and chips were like 26 The fish and chips were 26 exactly. Yeah. And each beer was $10.50 each. But these are Imperial pints. Yeah. So they're 20 ounces and not 16. Are they? Yeah. So they're much bigger than a pint glass? I guess so, yeah. It's, I guess it's deceiving because it looks like the same pint. They're wider, wider, they have the bubble. So yeah, this is, uh, I love these. I don't know. Look at this. Hold on, we gotta show this. Look That's at this. Great. Oh. Look at that, the ABC sticker right there. I love it. Oh. Yes. Thank you, Neil. Thanks, Neil. <laughs> what a great sticker. That's cute. We need the big stickers back. Okay, how cute is that? So cute. Um, it's like I can't handle it. 
I'll take you out. I'll pay for dinner. We'll call this a date. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Don't forget we have to go into the shop. We have to go into the shop. Uh, and I have to visit the Lou. The Lou? Yeah. Who is this Lou you have to go visit? <laughs> No, you just finish it. Like a boss. Alright, you take your time. I'll catch up with the chat. I'll do mine. And I'll catch up with the chat. Yours is one sip, and mine's like Yeah, well, this is. Alright, it's not a race, but. It's not a race. No, I'm saying you. I'm gonna catch up with the chat while you drink. I can't drink like that. Look at that. Also, I'm pretty sure, so I didn't want to say this earlier, but uh, they messed up my drink. It was not hard. It was like some kind of cider. It was so sweet. That's why I did it in two weeks. Of, yeah. But I didn't have the heart to tell Neil. I didn't want to send it back. But it was so sweet. I'm like, oh, that is cider. Oh, boy. Cider and Guinness? Yeah. 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 Why would they do that? I don't know why. <laughs> um, or maybe just there's something sweet in it. I have no idea, but that was definitely not hard. Anyway, Chief Leaf, what's up, what's up, what's up? I know, we gotta turn up Rob's mic. I did address it, but I get it, is that I knew this was the situation, right? So when I DJ like lounges or happy hours, um, it's the same thing, like when I do my corporate accounts, because they keep my volume so low. People go, oh, I didn't know you were DJing. I'm like, thanks, I know. Because they control the volume. And it's the same thing for Rob here, is that they want people to be able to talk during the dinner hours, I guess. But to me, if you're coming to Rose and Crown, you want to hear the pianist, right? Or expert table outside or in the other dining room. But also, it's a small room, so the acoustics, it's like a lot of noise, maybe. I don't know. I know, but that mic gets pumped into the speakers, which no, are know. up above. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, Rob did a great job. We were very happy to see him. Uh, let's see what else we got going on here. Steven Noon says, I came up with a version of Once Upon a Stream for Pete. I love that. Send it to me. Let's record it. Let's do it in the parks. I would record that. Make a music video of Once Upon a Stream to, about vlogging in the parks. I think it's funny. I think it'd be great. We edit it. Do it the right way. Adam's Land said, uh, if I'm going to show you around Wrexham, you got to return the favor and come for a few Orlando, uh, when I come and get, uh, take me out for a few Orlando beers at the Beer Garden. Uh, me and my fiance are coming out for our honeymoon next year. Absolutely. Oh, Hit me up, cool. Adam's Land. Yeah. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know if I'll have, uh, you'll probably be here before I go to Wrexham. It's going to take a few years to save up. We have a few things in the bucket list. Yeah. Izzo said, ask him to play Liquid Magic. I know. I can't control it. Oh, thanks, Lynette. It says, Liquid Magic is not the same without Pete. I appreciate it. It was a, it was a really good time. My, my baby. I miss hanging out with Nick. Uh, Steven said, Pete and Law are like the super proud parents at a school show or soccer game. We are, 100%. Shelly was clapping, too. Dawn said, I was also thinking how good Pete would have been in the news tonight cold open last night. I didn't see it last night, but I appreciate that. Thanks, Dawn. Of course Dawn. you would. I have his biggest supporter. Oh, jeez. Mel, I agree. Piano Rob is the best. Super nice guy. Super fun. Super awesome. Andy Van Dyke. See, Andy liked the hat look. I'm going to leave it. Like that. Oh, hey, Andy. He said the K-Fed hat look. That is not a compliment. I'm going to take it as one. <laughs> because K is $1,000. Fed is either a, a nice job with good insurance or Federal Express, another good company. So you're saying I'm making money on money or I got good benefits? Okay. Pete just says we love our ABC stickers. There we go. Adam said, yep, us Brits like proper pints, 100% instead of 80%. I agree. I'm with. I'm all about the proper pint. <laughs> Chief, do you see what Chief wrote? Uh... <laughs> yes, Dawnson, you can either go to Disney's smallest loo or the biggest one across the way. So, yeah, they do have a bathroom here in the Rose and Crown. Um, I will say, I actually like it because the men's room, at least, there's usually no one in there. 
you get some privacy and the stall there, there's only one. You get your own private sink, it's spacious, there's hooks. You can just have a day. But also, the best big bathroom in Epcot in public is across the way at World Show Place since the UK bathrooms are closed. True. Thanks, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, that's the version is a snake bite, Guinness with cider. So I had a snake bite. Yeah, it makes sense. Adam Sandler said, yeah, it makes sense with the sound of one of the guests be able to talk. I know, but you know what? Come on. We're here for the... Give us a little bit of volume. I can't even hear the lyrics. And I'm sitting in the same dining room. But he did a great job. And either way, it's fantastic. been in the mood to watch either Mighty Ducks or uh, Indiana Ducks. Jones. Those are the two. I would watch Indiana Jones. Mighty Ducks, I just went through the whole series, I feel like, in the last year, all over again. I did one, two, three, and then the new Disney Plus series. Me too. It's, that's why I played hockey throughout. The one sport I played the most in my childhood was hockey. Because of Mighty Ducks? I think so. Were you inspired by Goldberg? No, like I didn't play Goldie. Charlie was my boy. Yeah. Love Charlie. Um, when did it come out? I had to figure it out because uh, it's either that or it played into what was going on. Because I went to this. So I changed schools four times. So then I went to this new Catholic school in my town. And in the second grade, you were allowed to sign up for hockey, and they had a hockey rink on the grounds of the school. Really? It was St. John of God's hockey. Which is the only like roller hockey league like that's legit. Oh, roller, I thought it was. It was no, it was roller. Okay. Uh, I only played roller throughout my life. I mean, I played ice hockey, but like not in a league ever. I always played roller for second through high school, and then again in college on a on a fraternity hockey team was roller too. Listen, we on St. Patrick's Day like three years ago, we got text messages from our neighbors. Hey. Dix is having a sale on rollerblades. So oh, we're like, we let's buy them. I don't know why. I'm pretty sure Annette bought them too. Pretty sure. We all bought them and one day we went rollerblading around our complex. And that was pretty much it. But when I went with Pete, he was like doing all these tricks, moving around. And I'm like, that's where those calves came from. I was really excited to see him rollerblade. Like it was, it was very attractive. We should do that again. I like seeing you do that. Yeah. Like, the worst is we bought the cheapest hockey skates uh, on the internet. You compared did. to like my actual hockey skates, which I left in New York. You so just like, knew what you were doing with those. It was skates. terrible. I had to take the brakes off. Oh, it was right. the cheapest pair of skates, but we had a good time. <laughs> she bought them and never wore them again. <laughs> I'm telling you, we have them. But like Pete, when he puts on a pair of rollerblades, I'm like, woo, babe. Anyway, I played hockey from the second yeah. grade. Uh, up until high school and then again in college on the fraternity team. But yeah, I love hockey. But yeah, so Mighty Ducks, I don't know what happened first. If there was just a second grade sign up and I wanted to play a sport or if it was the Mighty Ducks. But it, around, I'm sure that one played off the other. Well, you know what? I heard the song We Will Rock You in the car the other day and I was like, I need to watch It's so Mighty funny Ducks. that reminds you of Mighty Ducks. It reminds me of Mighty Ducks too. Immediately. Yeah. That's the only thing I have a correlation. I paid my dues <laughs> and then like I lose it. Yeah. No, it's not. The whole thing. I just lose my mind. Terry says, are you a scotch drinker? I am trying to be, but I can't claim to be one. I'm not there yet. It's like if someone asks me if they're a crap beer drinker, I'm a crap beer drinker. Yeah. Like, I know what I'm scotch, talking about I there. Think of like scotch, I have to pretend. I'm still pretending. Like, I'm, I'm very good with wine. I went through a huge crap beer and wine phase from, you know, over a decade of each. You know, went out to uh, Napa and Sonoma and Monterey and worked at Vineyards on Long Island. Um, and then in the craft beer scene, I worked at multiple craft breweries, sold craft beer in New York City, uh, ran the five boroughs for the brewery I worked for. So I, I know the quacks, yeah. So yeah, craft beer and wine, I know much more about. In terms of uh, the scotch world, I'm trying, but I'm not there yet. You know what it reminds me of too? Aside from like- Are we going back to Mighty Ducks and nothing to do with what no, I just no, no, said? No, oh, no, no, okay. it has to do with scotch. Uh, Aside from like, I don't know, I just, I always just equated scotch with like older men, but also Mrs. Doubtfire. Because remember when the guy- I'll have a good tall scotch. Bully! 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 That's what I think of. Oh. Every 
Every and then the team, time. yeah, it's so great. Every time. Meet the newest host. Yeah, I love Mrs. Delphi. Remember we watched that tonight. We just watched it the other I love day. Mrs. Delphi so much. It's my fave. What's happening here? Like, what is going on here? Robin Williams was a gem. He's amazing. <laughs> Kenny with the fl yeah quack 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 Andy flying V. <laughs> Kenny H. I want a Gunner Stoll sweater. That's amazing. Remember Gunner Stoll? Yeah. He was like on the other team. Anyway. Oh. That's so funny. He just said I love when my husband plays hockey. See. And now my kids play too. Pride hockey mom over here. There you go. Lynette said, "Is Pete flushing?" I don't know. It always looks like I am. <laughs> To give <laughs> and a curse. I guess, well, I'm gonna do the Scotch egg. <laughs> 92. 92. I thought it was 90. Yeah, yeah so 92. I was playing hockey before that, but I think that just like really pumped me up. Oh, I'm sure it did. I wanted to, I, I was very close to playing deck hockey because one of the girls that I went to middle school with was doing like a deck hockey league. At it was Saint in Pass. Smithtown. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, was there was like, also a deck hockey league in Smithtown where you grew up. Oh, I wanted to do it and I was just too afraid, but I really wanted to do it. I thought I would have fun with it. What was the name of, uh, was it Sportsplex? Sports Plus. Sport, no, no, no. Sports Plus was different. But what was the one in Smithtown that had the tunnel you walked down? Spaceplex? Uh, but anyway, it was a. Uh, like a multimedia child's place, and then it turned into a I hockey rink. About. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. My brother played. Lacrosse. And then I had to go there. Yeah, and I went there and played uh, like one game of deck, and I'm like, I want skates. This is miserable. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Adam said, I love a single a single malt Scotch whiskey with a beer. Sit and drink your beer and sip the whiskey. Now, see that I could do. Susan said, I always think of Ron Burgundy. Yeah, Stoll was on the Iceland team. I'm trying to... Like, remember he wore the black jerseys and he was tall? Okay. And then at the end of the movie, he was like, good game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice job. <laughs> really, whatever. Really, whatever Charlie's last name was. Conway. Yeah. Good job, Conway. <laughs> good game. Fine. <laughs> He's just quiet in the whole so I do have those still I haven't watched Slapshot we should watch Slapshot too everyone tells me to watch it it's a comedy movie about hockey it's all I know I haven't seen it but everyone tells I should watch it Dawn and Bill are both saying it's great the Hanson brothers yes yeah Kenny let's go shake their heads <laughs> you have to watch it now I can't handle it that's hilarious <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> Let's go shake their heads. Yeah. It's so funny. funny. Well, if See, you're enjoying the stream as much as I am, you should hit the like button. The plates, that's a hit Is that a hidden Mickey one? Yeah. Is it a hidden Mickey? Is it? All right, listen, Neil wants his table back so we can have more tips and more action. We should get out of here. I'm ready. I have to just skip to my loo. You skip to the loo. Where am I gonna can you take that with you? <laughs> Are you just going to rhyme now? <laughs> Is that okay with you? <laughs> Where are you going to go, though? I have to go into that shop. Maybe I'll meet you there. Maybe you should follow your heart. Peter? <laughs> You'll never know. You'll never know. It's going to be impossible to find me. I don't know how you're going to find me. Good luck finding me. Okay. Oh, hey, guys. Hey, guys. Who just missed the first showing? Rob killed it. Rob killed it. Although I will say you're in a good spot because uh, they turn his mic way down. So you have to really keep your, your ears peeled. Uh, you'll get old piano. But yeah, he did a great job. He was like, what do you guys want to hear? And then Laura started requesting. He's like, shh, don't, don't request anything. Just, let's just let him play what he wants to play. No, I'm like, let him play his normal playlist. Yeah. I don't want to hear the songs that you always want to hear. I want him just to do what he wants. Yeah. It was a perfect blend of uh, the UK and Disney. Yeah. It checked all the boxes. Well, enjoy dinner. Thank you. Yeah, have a good time. Yeah, we're going to go brave the heat again. Back up. We just cooled down. Uh, yeah, Friday night. That's right. It's Friday night at Epcot. The Friday night crowd has showed up. Food and wine Friday nights. All right. Enjoy your meal. See you guys later. Off we go. Thank you. Thank you.
Yep, cheer up. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
Well, they won't know why, but Epcot was open in 1982. October 1st, 1982. Speaking about October 1st, we're doing a meetup here at Walt Disney World. If you're in town, it's completely free. You don't have to sign up. You don't have to do anything. You just show up and hang out with us. Say hi. Tell us your name. Uh, October 1st through the 4th. We're going to have a little group in town. So come hang out. We also have a full itinerary at adventuresbycarney.fun. That's right, dot .fun. And also the uh, Carney Crew Meetup section of our Discord. If you haven't heard about our Discord, it is the coolest, nicest, most amazing spot on the internet. Everyone's nice to each other. I know it's crazy. It doesn't make sense. How do you put over 300 people together on the internet and everyone's nice? It just happened. So go check out our Discord. The link is down below. There's Guinness coffee. Law, well, there's yet more. There's more. Oh, hello, Pooh. Hi. Now, this is your dad's section right here. Okay. Let's look at these press pennies. See how many press pennies there are, Lauren? You have no idea what you're going to get yourself into. Yeah, that's how it starts. I know. Did you see the one? Uh, oh, there was one that I said that I should get for Lauren. Oh, you see what I was going to get you? I know. I would wear this. I, I know. Wear this. I know you would. You see the back? Laura. Turn it around so you can show everyone. Yeah, perfect. I was like, that's totally Lauren. $79.99. No, I didn't. I just know how much spirit he's on. <laughs> I'm telling you, I wouldn't, I'm, I'm pretty good at the guess that price game. Doesn't look like Peter Pan just had like a little too much speed. It's a cute little tank on the Disney 50. But think, Lauren, we get 10 to 20% off. I would narrate this one. Give me five. She's like, why are you showing me other women in the lake? That's where your head goes. No, that's literally that's... What you're doing. the Mermaid Lagoon. That's where it is. It's a great place to hang out. Did you see the uh, poo thing I sent you? I put a, a preview of it on my Instagram story. If you guys ever miss any part of uh, you know life or you want to see some of the craziness and mayhem of what I call my insane life, go follow the socials. Uh, I post on Instagram all the time, at Official Carney. Uh, on Twitter, is mostly Disney and theme park stuff, at your WDW guy on Twitter or X. And the, uh, what is it, TikTok, Adventures by Carney. I've been doing better with the TikTok and I got to tell everyone, I can't do this channel without the Patreons. Thank you so much to all the Patreons. If you are interested in becoming a Patreon uh, and finding out all the benefits of being a Patreon and supporting the channel in a huge way, go to patreon.com backslash adventures by Carney. All those links are down below as well. And on the website, adventuresbycarney.fun, you can find all those as well. What are you doing? Just, why don't you just clip the live stream? I honestly just those other ones. I love that you started taking pictures of every t shirt. Oh Law, look at this. Oh, command performance about to start. But I'm gonna stay in the air conditioning until then. Why is this the UK? Doesn't it look like George Washington? Like, the UK is like number one. Like, come on, man. You can charge here. It doesn't make any sense. Well, it's not for charging. It's for, they light the backlit stuff. Yeah. But why? I mean, no, never mind. It's a red coat. So it's got to be a British person. That's not Martha. But it would be pretty funny. Ugh. Mick Silva in the house. What's going on?
<laughs> I'm still laughing over that. Let's go shake their hands. It's so great. Yes, Trevor. What's up, Trevor? Says, it's definitely lively on Friday nights. Stephen Noon, that's a good word. Boisterous. What a great synonym. Thank you, Stephen. Let's go shake their hats. Stephen Noon says, my son has the green Ireland hoodie and wears it all the time. Yeah, I love it. Stephen Noon, only a 10% discount uh, for the first part of the store for AP because it's third party. Ah. Because what? It's a third party store. So many parties, so little time. Don says we have so many press pennies hanging around our house. We just, there's too many things to collect. Nick Silva says my daughter is creeped out by Peter Pan. That's so funny. Really? Dawn says it's one of her favorite movies, though. Lauren loves it. I heard it might be her absolute favorite. Is it your absolute favorite? My favorite is my favorite. Okay. Colin, enjoy dinner. Hi, Gail. Great to see you. All right. You ready for a command performance? By the way, if you're doing a Kid Cut, this is where the Kid Cut Fun Stop is. Come on in. You can pin trade. You grab the thing. We'll see if they're starting. I think it's right now. There they are. Uh, 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 uh. Hello everyone, welcome to the UK. What the band performance play the best music out of the UK? Let's start this show with something from the Who. This one's called Bob O'Reilly. Here on the drums and lead vocals, Mr. Matt Ludwell.
Here's some from Led Zeppelin 1. Yeah. 
I wish the sun was coming. It's raining on us right now. <laughs> Thank you guys. Did it work at all? Did it work at all? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> the rabbit left. The rabbit was here the whole all set right, watching the show. A pump beverage thing? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's go back out this way. I think we should go to Ireland for some rock and roll. Oh, baby. He, the rain well, can't stop Lizzie. these crowds. Ooh, Thin Lizzy. Oh, great song, Lauren. We can't leave now. Oh, what a good song. Guess who's back? Get it out. I don't want to block anyone. It is starting to rain harder. We have a long walk to the car. Now nah, we can't wait to hear this song. We're back in town. All right, I'm going back in the chat while we listen. Mixilla, Piano Rob works select days at the Rose and Crown Pavilion at Epcot. Also, Stephen Noon, update. Lauren got 20% off her purchase. On select items in the store, it could be 20% off. <laughs> Hi, Gail. Boys are back in town. Yeah, love the who. What a great set so far. Wow, Lynette, that's amazing. She said, I saw the Who on their first trip to the U.S. That's awesome. Glenn Colton, the set will have Clash, if I remember. I agree, Glenn said they're not even avoiding the difficult vocals. No, they're killing it. What's up, CM Custom Signs? Hey, D'Lo in the house. Big Al is here. Thanks, Lynette. Lynette says, everyone, please hit the like when you come in. Yeah, if you haven't hit that like button, please hit that like button. Consider subscribing. It would be awesome. Glenn's so funny. He goes, Pete and Lauren left. They're going to ride Guardians when I set up the camera. Boys, we're back in town. Thanks, D'Lo. Said, hope everyone's enjoying the band. Please tap the like, and of course, consider subscribing. You're the best. Thanks, D'Lo. Dawn said, ha ha, Glenn, they'll be here for three sets. Yeah, no, I didn't leave you. Plus, it's raining. I just want to give you a good view. It is starting to come down pretty hard here. And Lauren and I have no umbrella or poncho or protection, but there she is. Forgot it was zoomed in. That was a great shot of you. <laughs> it's coming down. We got a nice glisten. Oh, I got to do the other arm. You know it's rock and roll, baby? It's the life cycle of butterflies. <laughs> rock and roll, baby. Cocoons to wings. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I just realized that this is a dry spot. That's brilliant. That's so good. I'm like, why are they just, oh, it's dry. That makes sense. 
Bum, 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 bum. Killing it, killing it. The band, killing it out there. All right, I mean, it's no surprise. You can tell we're heading towards the International Gateway. We're going to keep the stream rolling for a little bit, but uh, it is actual date night tonight, so we're going to go home and cuddle and watch a movie <laughs> and make microwave popcorn and do all the things. Maybe sit on the balcony and watch the rainstorm. Oh, I love that. It's my favorite. But we wanted to come here first and do a little hey. Epcot live stream. A little live. Yeah, a little live. We're, almost, we're here live almost three hours. Wow. If you could do us the big favor, though, hit the like button. Consider subscribing. We like it. Hit uh, all follow, notifications. Hit all notifications for sure. We will be back Monday at noon Eastern. Ooh. The debut of Mix It Up Mondays. That's what is that all about? You got to tune in and find out. Who? I don't even know. We're going to have a good time together. We're mixing it up. We're mixing it up. <laughs> also, follow the socials. Hey. hey. Okay. Um, I don't know what just happened there. <laughs> uh, at Official Corny on Instagram. At your WDW guy on Twitter. Or X. Uh, Adventures by Carney is the TikTok, it's the Patreon. Shout out to all the Patreons. They're the best. I mean, they literally are the best. Have a great night. Thanks for having us. We had a great stay. What else is happening, Lauren? What else should we talk about? Adventures by Carney.fun. We're doing a meetup October 1st through the 4th. If you're in town, please come hang out with us. It's going to be an awesome time. We'll have a little group. It's completely free. You don't have to sign up anywhere. But you can find our full schedule at Adventures by Carney.fun. You can see some pictures from the last meetup. Uh, also, you can grab some merch there. We got hats. Tanks, T-shirts, sweatshirts, water bottles, Razorbacks. Show them the front. Oh, yeah, look at that. Looks even better in the rain. What else do we got going on? Anything else? We had an awesome stream at DAC yesterday. That's Disney's Animal Kingdom for those not in the know, but go check it out. Four and a half hours of fun yesterday. We did some fun, different things that we normally don't do. If you missed any, oh, the Discord. you got to jump in the Discord. Link is down below. It's free. It's awesome. Best community. That's where we just talk about all things. You want to make a live stream suggestion, uh, edited video suggestion. You want to just talk, hang out with a bunch of nice, kind, beautiful people. That's what it's all about. Also, my schedule's in there, the Carney Crew meetups. If you're in town, you want to hang out with me or other people um, from the Discord, you can throw your vacation in there, what you're doing. Book chat. Oh, we got Lauren's book chat in there. Also, we have a Promote Yourself channel. If you want to go promote, you have a small business or a YouTube channel or something you want to go promote, we have a Promote Yourself. We support the community. Um, or if you want to go support others that are just awesome and people that follow the channel. And I'm not going to lie, I'm very uh, blessed. blessed and proud of this audience, though, because it's just a great crowd. Everyone's kind. Everyone's nice. We very rarely have to do anything, even here during the streams, but in the Discord, I don't think we've had to kick anybody out. It's just been beautiful, awesome people. We're all about that positivity. That's what it's all about. You want that negativity, just look anywhere. But we're all about that positivity. You need somebody to say good morning to you? There's going to be somebody... Good morning! I love the good mornings. Everyone gets pumped up. I love the good morning text. Lynette usually beats me in the morning. But yeah, come hang out in the Discord. It's awesome. What else is going on? I don't know. Different sky than when we walked in, that's for sure. So a little more... So you can see some of it breaking through on the other side of Epcot over there. That's good news. That's where we live. And over here, the dark clouds are right above us. But over in the distance, you can see a little sun breaking through as the sun sets here in beautiful Orlando, Florida. Currently facing the Yacht and Beach Resort, for those who don't know. We just left out of the International Gateway. This is where you can access the Skyliner. I'm sure you saw it. Technically, right now, everything's wet. <laughs> but also, you can access not only the beach and yacht, but the boardwalk where we're headed. And also, the Swan and Dolphin. Swalfin? The Swalfin, as we say. Not on accident, either. Swalfin. You're looking Swalfin. <laughs> yeah. Look at the... Oh, yeah. Thorne's going to be at the gym. Yep. She's awesome. She's a Patreon member. Went and uh, had a workout with Lauren while she was in town. Lauren, you think you own stock in the company. Jeez. We're just happy she showed up. I mean, it's nice. You guys had a nice workout together. 
So yeah, you can go join Lauren on a workout, or if it's a Saturday morning while she's working out, you can come join me sleeping somewhere. <laughs> no. Saturday mornings are at 7 a.m. is that what I'm usually up by Weekdays, then. Weekdays, 5 a.m. That's where I get my last little bit of work done that I didn't finish during the week. And then we try to relax and enjoy the weekends, because Lauren is a hardworking teacher. So we try, I try to have as little work as possible on the weekend so I can hang out with Lauren. Love it. We've had a lot of busy weekends. Yeah. This will be another busy one. Not as crazy as last weekend, but no, we have, we have a pretty busy schedule, but. No. <laughs> no, you apparently haven't looked at the calendar, but uh, we'll talk about it later. Look at the beautiful boardwalk. Me too. Uh, we would have stayed for each of the beach tonight, but I didn't know the artist as well. So we wanted to at least have one night together this week, uh, home together, hanging out. So tonight was the night we compromised to Lauren. Let's go do a live stream at Epcot, have a good time. And then we can go home, cuddle it up, and have a nice little night. But I did look ahead. I mean, I didn't just agree to this date, people. I mean, come on. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. Oh, I love you. 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 I love you too. Oh, jeez. You know I'm gonna talk about this deli again because I was really impressed the last Tell time. Tell him about it, Lauren. Tell him about it. Doing good. I had a nice deli sandwich there. Haven't eaten there like in all the times that we've been. But when we stayed at the boardwalk, um, I went down for a little, like, a little Sammy. Really, really good. And you can mobile order and then come down and grab it. Really nice. Yes, it was fresh. Look at that. And Lauren's a tough critic. Yeah, you know. It's high praise. I always just walk by there and not really like. Walk attention. on by. Do, really do, do. Hey guys, be careful. The floor may be wet. Maybe. It might be a little glossy. Don agrees, says yes, their sandwich game is solid. Thanks, Delos. So enjoy your date night. Glenn, I'm with you. I'm sad about the ESPN Club, too. It was my spot. Yeah, we really liked it there. I know. The but drinks were like reasonable, too, for like a big cup of something alcohol. What are they doing here? Marshmallows? They're doing a little marshmallow. See the lady in the tramp from uh, Flower and Garden? They moved over here, by the way. Yeah, I did yeah. see it. Look how adorable he is. Oh, my God. So we'll show you. that You could roast some marshmallows here. It's raining. But they also do, typically do a theater uh, presentation at night. They do a blow-up movie screen. But you could roast some s'mores, some marshmallows on a graham cracker, some chocolate, chocolate. Just got to stay. Look at that. I love the stars on the ground. And your favorites from Flower and Garden Festival. There they are, Lady and the Tramp. Hello, you want some more? It's cute. You stand on the star. You do your yeah, they have a covered area in case it rains, like right now. I love the smell of it, too. Yeah, it smells really good. It reminds me of Christmas. Oh, well, yeah. Winter in New York. Yeah, because the, cause, the, yeah, the, the, the wood. Good. Yeah. Fireplace. I agree. I miss the smell of a good fireplace. Me too. All right. Well, as we venture back to the parking lot, thank you so much for watching. So Happy Friday. I hope you have an amazing weekend. I hope to see all of you Monday morning. Well, depending where you live, yeah. Monday afternoon, <laughs> but 12 o'clock noon Eastern. Uh, we'll see you then. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Oh, squeaky, squeaky shoes. Squeaky shoes. Squeaky Ooh, it's shoes. My teeth. If you missed anything, you can go back and watch the stream. We also have an amazing stream from Animal Kingdom. You can go watch. Go explore some of the channel if you uh, still want some more content after this. All right. We're out of here. I love you. See you later. And do me one big favor. Please be kind to one another. See you later.